Rachel and I are going to see a scary movie tonight, so I'm bringing my weighted blanket. <laughs> I'm so scared. I think it works. Hi everybody, I'm Merle. All my life, I have had sleep issues. I can remember when I was a kid, I used to actually try to hypnotize my mother into falling asleep while she was reading me bedtime stories. First of all, because I thought I had that magical ability. I am still waiting for my lighter from Hogwarts. But I did. I used to try to get her to fall asleep next to me because I didn't want to sleep alone. I've always had trouble actually falling asleep. I'm laying there in bed, it's getting later and later, and I'm doing the math in my head that like now I'm only gonna get seven hours of sleep, now I'm only gonna get six hours of sleep, and then I don't get any sleep. This is no way to live. I've started taking melatonin before I go to sleep, and I know melatonin is notoriously non-habit forming, but I kind of feel like I've made a habit of it. I've kind of avoided weighted blankets for a really long time for two reasons. One, because I don't trust anything that's marketed to me in this day and age. Two, because they're expensive. But I think one thing that would really help me, hopefully, have more energy throughout the day, be more productive, is to get a better night's sleep. So, I tried one out for a week. Okay, I just got the weighted blanket. <laughs> Holy shoot, it's hefty. Oh, feels like I have a child. The first night, was kind of a disaster. It felt like I was carrying a dead body. It weighs 18 pounds, but 18 pounds is a lot heavier than you think it is, trust me. I am both alarmed and embarrassed to admit that my heart rate has increased after walking the blanket over to my desk. I felt ridiculous in the first place, like carrying the blanket over the threshold of my home. Hey, are you ready to try a weighted blanket? Yeah? Okay, let's do this very intimate ritual to be sharing. It immediately felt like there was a body on top of me. Feels like a very gentle elephant is sitting on my legs. I don't know why I'm whispering. I'd read other people's experiences and a lot of them were like, ah, oh, the first night was the deepest sleep I've had in my whole entire life. I woke up and I was freaked out by how rested I was. <coughs> that did not happen to me. Mm, that was not a good experience. I did wake up a few times throughout the night, the first night. It's three in the morning and I swear to God, I thought that a person jumped out of my ceiling onto the floor next to me. It was the freaking blanket fell off my bed and it hit the floor so hard. It sounded like a person. I was frustrated about it. That was not the magical anxiety reducing <laughs> slumber that I was promised. Guys, I'm nervous to go back to sleep with the blanket tonight. I just wanna get a good night's sleep because if I have seven nights like I did last night, I'm not gonna be doing well. And I'm worried that there's just something wrong with me that the blanket isn't working on me. So I'm gonna give it another try. The second night was a lot better. I slept through the night with the weighted blanket. I didn't wake up once. I didn't have nightmares. I just slept. And I actually got up when my alarm went off. That was a success. I'm becoming slowly but surely a little bit more of a believer. I was starting to get really excited that sleep was becoming a positive thing in my life. Okay, so since last night was such a success, I'm going to up the ante a little bit tonight. I'm not going to take any melatonin. I've heard that maybe the blanket can kind of help your body produce more melatonin naturally, and I mean, that's the ideal situation is that I don't need to take something to fall asleep. So, sweet dreams, everybody. Guys, I have very exciting news. We had a breakthrough morning. I went to sleep on my side last night, just like this, and I woke up in the same position. That has never happened to me ever before, ever. I feel like last night I fell asleep and I was in a deep, deep slumber. I didn't even know that was a thing. You know, if I was retired, I could do a crossword puzzle right now. Today I've just felt kind of more mellow and relaxed. I was late for a meeting and instead of getting flustered and letting it kind of work me up, I just was able to look at it from the outside and be like, this is one meeting, this is one hour. It's a bad hour, it's not a bad day. I continue to marvel at the benefits of adequate sleep. <laughs> Why wasn't I trying to fix this a long time ago? I could have been way more productive, probably. Rachel and I are going to see a scary movie tonight, so I'm bringing my weighted blanket. 
This is probably a really stupid idea. Oh my god. Is she is she serious right now? Are you ready to get spooked? Ah! <laughs> I do not do horror, okay? I do some light thrillers. Nothing abnormal here. We're about to start the movie. Wish us luck. I'm so scared. I think it works. I hate it. I've been able to fall asleep within like 20 minutes, which for me is huge. And I'm finding that I wake up much more refreshed, which makes getting up a lot easier. Okay, so it's day five and I'm actually looking forward to going to sleep where that was never, never really a thing for me. I'm learning that the weighted blanket means it's time for sleep. This morning, I woke up at 6 a.m. I didn't hit my snooze once, and I did some writing. Who even am I? Reese doesn't even recognize me anymore, right? I'm killing life right now. I'm just like at the top of my game. This is the last morning of my seven days sleeping with the weighted blanket. I am honestly just so amazed at how wrong I was about this thing. I've been sleeping insanely well. I've been sleeping consistently. It hasn't been taking me as long to go to sleep. I feel good. The weighted blanket helped me sleep better. And since I was more well rested, I was more likely to do other healthy things. So I had more energy, so I was more likely to work out. I wasn't as tired, so I was more likely to cook for myself instead of getting fast food. Since I got up early, I made breakfast at home. Now I'm off to work. I feel like a spring chicken. So it's really a snowball effect. I'm sure you're wondering, am I still gonna use this blanket? And heck yes, I'm gonna use this blanket. I hope they're planning on letting me keep this blanket because I want it. Can we give all of the credit to the weighted blanket? No, but it is one step in kind of the building blocks of trying to live healthier throughout the day. The blanket has another use. If you lay with it like this, it kind of feels like a person. It didn't feel sad when I was thinking it. But now hearing it come out of my mouth, I realize 